In 2019, New York State enacted landmark legislation that makes it possible to seek justice for decades-old child sex abuse crimes. The Child Victims Act is the name of it, and for a short time, it suspends the statute of limitations for child sex abuse claims and provides a unique opportunity for survivors. Joining us now to talk more about this is Jennifer Freeman. She's an attorney with a focus on victims of childhood sexual abuse and child pornography. She's also the chair of Child U.S. Advocacy, an organization aimed at ending child abuse. Jennifer, thank you for being here. Lovely to be here with you and talk about this important topic. It is a very important topic. So explain what the Child's Victim Act is. The Child Victims Act was landmark legislation that provides anyone of any age, no matter where they live today, if they were sexually abused in New York, their claim as a child, their claim has been revived and they have an opportunity to bring a lawsuit for child sex abuse in New York State. So if you used to live in New York, you're a former New Yorker and you're now in Florida or Arizona or Texas or wherever you are, you have a chance, but a very short chance because you only have till early August to do this. It's an interesting topic because we know that it takes many years often for survivors to come to terms with what happened to them to get over the fear and the stigma and to decide actually to take action. And so to them, it might seem very unfair that there's even a statute of limitations at all, right? I agree. I don't think there should be statutes of limitation on childhood sex abuse. And so far, one state, Vermont, has in fact gotten rid of all of their statutes of limitation um, for child sex abuse. There is no statute of limitations, which so is terrific. Uh, excuse me, what would you say to victims who are reluctant about that level of exposure? They feel intimidated, they think they won't be believed, or maybe they just don't have the evidence all these years later. Well, that's, those are certainly issues that every victim, every survivor faces, but the, this is, these are things that can be handled. Um, the process is to work with an attorney who is uh, experienced in the area to tell your story, um, there is evidence out there, there is corroborating evidence, and it, if it exists, and it often does, we will find it. And this isn't, this, this act is not just about the abusers, right? It's also about their enablers, some of whom are, are very powerful or have a lot of money. Can you go into that a little bit? Yes, and I just want to double back for a moment. One of the other things about the, bringing a lawsuit is you can file under a pseudonym or a, under your initials. So you don't have to file necessarily with your name. So you may be able to keep a lot of this confidential. But to go back to the abusers, the enablers, um, there are so many institutions, whether it's the Catholic Church or a hospital like Rockefeller University or a camp, a summer camp or foster care or a teacher at school that fail to protect these children and they need to be responsible as well. And are other states now following suit? How can people know what their options are, maybe if they weren't in New York when this happened to them? Well, if you really have to look at each state. So you can't just say it's not uniform across the states. There has been a lot of statute of limitations reform. There were approximately 20 states that went through some kind of reform last year, which is terrific. And we're still going to continue to do that reform. Um, for example, in Florida, for example, um, we're still working on trying to open a window to revive old claims there. But you really have to look at your state. But if you are a former New Yorker, the time to act is now. And last question for you, what about the survivors who might be watching this now who don't have a legal remedy? Maybe they're in one of the states where uh, they don't have options legally. Do they have other options to report the abuse to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else? They certainly can always go to the police and report. There's nothing to prevent them from doing that and every reason to do that. Now, the, the prosecutor may, may not be able to prosecute that, but it's very important to bring these abusers out in the open. Regardless, that's very, very important for future children to avoid abuse. All right, Jennifer Freeman, thank you very much. A very important topic. Thank you.